today I'm going to talk about the urban renters research that we recently did. And in fact, we identified three tribes that I think are extremely pertinent to the London market. We identified 10 tribes, but three of them are quite key. The first tribe would be the globalistas. And the globalistas, if you could imagine, are the socialites, the high net worth individuals, the athletes, the, the Hollywood A-list actors, the ones that come to London who may only be here for six months to a few years. They're not looking to settle down and place roots and start their families. They're here for a period of time for their work. They're going to be willing to pay that premium to be in London, and then they're going to move on. The urban foxes are probably the complete opposite of the globalistas in the sense that what they're looking for is still that prime central location in London where they're quite happy to have everything at their doorstep, but they're not willing to pay those high premiums. They're going to be those that are in the gigging economy, or they're going to be those who perhaps work um, more shift work, whether it's working for the NHS or any of the emergency services, where actually having that proximity to their workplace and having a place to go and rest their head is where they're paying for their premium. The oyster catchers is the last group that we identified that are really true to London, and the name comes in, oyster catchers. They're part of that oyster card community. They prioritize the value of money, and what they've done is they've identified the best location for them to live in that still is within those tube uh, zones, but actually is cheaper to live there and pay for their housing than it is to perhaps move out to the home counties. I think all three of these tribes are really pertinent to the London market and I think the impact that they're going to have on the build to rent environment over the next decade is without question going to be huge.